So this is paper one from 2004 session, May, June. Use a screen annotation or a chat to state the answer. Question one, what could be the right answer? Some students are asked to describe the difference between the gases and liquid. Three, uh, three of their suggestions are, which suggestions are correct? You can use a screen annotation to state the answer or a chat, but I want participation from everyone. Besra, uh, Heather, Nourish, Hiba, Abdullah Khan. You can use a chat if you are not able to annotate. So gas molecules are further apart, that's true. Gas molecules are smaller. The, mo the size of the molecule does not uh, state, uh, suggest the state. Liquid molecules vibrate about fixed position. That's wrong. That is for solids only. So only one is a, a is the right answer. Question two. Don't bother about your answer being wrong because it does not make, it's not an exam or a test. It's just a practice so it, to improve your understanding. So you can use a chat and state the answer or a screen annotation. So a colored liquid vaporizes easily at room temperature. Some of the liquid is placed at the bottom of sealed jar. Which diagram shows the appearance? So because what happened, the liquid is there when it will turn into vapor. It will vaporize and it will spread throughout the container. That's why D is the right answer. Measurements are made on some pure water. The term pH means like if it is less than 7, the it substance will be acidic. So measurement are made on some pure water. Sodium chloride is now dissolved. So we add salt. The addition of the salt does not make the substance acidic or alkaline. But when we add a salt, salt is like an impurity to the water. So will it affect the boiling point or freezing point? So when we add impurity, is there an effect on the freezing or the boiling point? So yes, there will be effect on the freezing point. Because what happened when the water is impure, it will have a higher free, uh, it will have a higher boiling point, it will affect the boiling point. And it will also affect the freezing point. It will lower the freezing point. But what about pH? Because it's a salt is added. This salt sodium chloride does not make water acidic or alkaline. So the correct answer is B. So why B is the right answer? Because when you add impurity, when the substance is impure, the boiling point and the freezing point will change. But here the pH refers to whether a, uh, water become acidic or alkaline. 
it will not change why because we are not adding acid or alkali if acid is added the water boiling and melting point uh, freezing point will change as well as ph question 4 the diagram shows a chromatogram obtained from three sweets x y and z how many different red dyes are present in sweets how many types of red colors are present in the sweets this is a chromatogram look what happened this is a chromatogram of sweet x this is a chromatogram of sweet y and this is a chromatogram of sweet z so how many red colors how many red dyes are present in the sweets so when you check look because the spot of red color in x is matches with the spot of red color in z so it means this is the same color this red color is present in both so this is one this is the same color the same red color present in sweet x and same red color present in sweet z and there is another spot for the red and that is also present in y so this red color present in y is same as red color present in z so how many different red dyes are there different red color so b is the right answer because this red color like example if this is red a this is also red a and if this is red b this will be red b as well so this is one red color this are that that's why we are saying there are two red colors question 5 which property does group 6 elements have group 6 they are non metals so group 6 the non metal for example if group 6 which is a non metal react with group 7 so when non metal react with another non metal so when two non metals are there what kind of bonding they will have they will have covalent but if group 6 react with group 1 so group 6 is non metal and group 1 is metal so when non metal react with metal what kind of bonding they will have they will have ionic bond so group 6 react because they are asking can they form covalent bond yes they can form covalent bond because if they react with non metal they will form covalent bond can they form ionic bond yes they can form ionic bond if they react with group 1 or group 2 they will form ionic and because these are non metals non metals what is the characteristic or property of non metal non metals do not or does not conduct electricity that's why c is the right answer which diagram show electronic structure of another element in the same group so how to work out the group group you have to check the number of electron in the last shell represent the group so which ele th this element belongs to how many electrons are there in the last shell so it is having two electron in the last shell so it means it is group 2 what about a when we check this 2 plus 2 4 so it means this is group 4 when we check this the number of electron in the last cell so 2 plus 1 that is 3 so it is group 3 when we check this only two electron that is group 2 so that is c is the right answer what about d when you check it is having only one electron so it will be group 
one. So the, the question was which element belongs to the same group. So if element belongs to the same group, they will have same number of electrons in the valence or the last gel. So this was uh, May, June 2004, paper one. Any question related to the class today? As we discussed the weekly homework and did some questions from the past paper. So I'll end the session and share this with you.